Headlines like these are not new to citizens, but there's one paragraph in this story that left many puzzled. Readers could not understand how no one informed the family about the perpetrator's release in March. But whose responsibility was that? CNC3 News reached out to head of the gender-based violence unit, Claire Guy Allen, who said the unit started two years ago and had no record of Benson's case. This is because she was attacked four years ago and her attacker was in remand all that time. According to police, the suspect was not serving a prison term as the matter is still ongoing and was released on bail. The TTPS confirmed that the victim was not informed of his release. They directed us to the prison service, but according to Acting Commissioner Diopasad Ramata, it is not their responsibility to inform anyone about an inmate's release. It is not in our remit, not our protocol, it is our procedure to inform family when it is a to the sentences and re- release in the public. Ramata said the prison service releases over 20 inmates a day and they don't always dwell on what they were charged with. But CEO of Vision on Mission, Giselle Chance, believes the current system is not good enough. You know, it raises a lot of questions. Was this inmate on remand properly assessed by the prison service? Was a psychological assessment done? Was this inmate classified? Chance, whose NGO provides rehabilitation, reintegration, and resettlement services for prisoners, said once someone is remanded for any form of abuse, a psychological evaluation should be done before they are released. What we have now is a hot potato system. Well, okay, you know, you he released and you have a piece of paper that say, well, don't go here, don't go there, don't go within so many feet within the victim. I mean, the psychology of these, these individuals... She said there are systems in place to prevent such attacks from happening, but no clear policy on what should be done. Chan said a task force made recommendations over 20 years ago, but none were implemented. We are talking about transitional facilities, right? That certain category of inmates should be remanded into on their release. Head of the International Women's Resource Network, Sandrine Ratton, said deflecting will not help protect victims. In a release issued after the attack, Ratton called out acting Police Commissioner MacDonald Jacob for Badalo's murder and Benson's attack. She now extended that to the acting prisons commissioner. She said it's time for a meeting of the minds and hopes they can come to a common ground and fix the loopholes in the judicial system now before this happens again. We cannot continue as though it's business as usual. Meanwhile, the main suspect in Badalo's murder is still on the run. Carissa Lee, CNC3 News.